hello here if nc5 is nc6 we have to find out 13 cn first using nc5 is equal to nc6 nc6 i am going to find out n and after that i am going to find out 13 cn see whenever ncr is equal to ncs okay it means that either r equal to s or n is r plus s okay this is a condition you can remember if ncr equal to ncs that means either r should be equal to s or n must be equal to r plus s here here analyze carefully nc5 equal to nc6 are these two equal is 5 equal to 6 no so what is the other condition n must be equal to r plus s that means n must be equal to 5 plus 6 that means n is 11 not done now 13 c n is nothing but 13 c 11 there is a form there is a property what is state that ncr is nothing but nc n minus r okay that means ncr can is also equal to nc n minus r that means 13 c 11 is nothing but 13 c 13 minus 11 13 c 13 minus 11 which is nothing but 13 c 2 13 c 2 nc2 is what nc2 is nothing but n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial two terms in the numerator and two factorial in the denominator so he this will be 13 into 12 by 2 factorial 13 into 12 by 1 into 2 2 ones are 2 6 are 13 6 are 78 that's it thank you